Hey friends, it's Simon Hurley from Simon Hurley Create and I'm here with a video with Crayola where I'm going to share how to use just a white crayon to get a really awesome watercolor resist on your card making projects. This is so much fun for coloring and without further ado, let's turn down my work surface and get right into it so I can share with you guys the magic that this white crayon does. So here is one of the projects that I created with the white crayon. I'm gonna show how to create this a little bit later in the video as I share how to kind of create this resist first. So I'm gonna go in here with a page from the Florals Flower Coloring Book. I'll set my watercolors aside because we're going to be using these later to color in after we've already created the resist. I picked out a page from this coloring book. I love all the different flowers in here. They're perfect for making images for cards. So I've pulled out a page that I like of these succulents and let's get into sharing how this resist works. So basically the wax in this white crayon is what's going to create the resist on today's card. So any watercolors or water-based mediums from Crayola that you put on top should create a really awesome resist with it. So here, I'm gonna create a fun resist just along some of the lines and on the inside of this flower. For this one, I'm not gonna color in the whole thing. I'm just gonna follow some of these lines that are already drawn in the coloring book to create a little bit of detail. Now press hard down onto the surface as you're coloring in with your wax crayon. You wanna make sure to apply lots of wax to the surface because that's what's going to act as the resist. Okay, so once that's all colored in, I'm going to go in with my watercolors and start my watercoloring. I love this larger pack because there's so many different colors to work with, but I know they've got a variety of different packs you can get. And then I'll also bring in a Crayola paintbrush and some water on the side. You can either put the water in the dish. I like to spray it on my surface. This is a protected surface. So make sure that if you're going to spray water down, make sure that you have a piece of plastic or something to protect your work surface. Okay, so let's go in here and start my water coloring. I'm going to grab this lime green color and let's go right on to the succulent and you can see exactly where it is resisted. So you'll see as I'm painting this color down, it's going to sit on top of the surface wherever that wax was placed down. So as I'm coloring this in, the color will stay wherever I didn't put the wax. So if you want a lot more color and just a little bit of detail of the wax, just do it in small areas. And if you're like me and you want a lot of white space on your card or on your image and you just want you know, lots of white space and a little bit of that color, add a lot down. So then I'll go in with some of those darker colors to really highlight that fun resist that we created. So go in with that green. And I'm not using a ton of water here. Since I'm going on a coloring book page, it's not super thick. So I don't want to layer up a ton of water. If I just want a little tiny bit of wax on this one, I'm just going to color in just a little bit here and there on each leaf. And you'll see that when we color in just littler details like this and not so much, you'll get a lot more color on the surface and a lot less of that resist. So for this one, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a pink color too, and we'll start water coloring it in. And with this one, you can immediately see a lot more color is sinking into the surface and there's only a little bit of that resist since we added a lot less wax on there. And then I'll add a little bit of green because after all, these are some succulents. So I'll mix in a little green there. So you guys can see there where we added less lines, that surface where we added that wax down is going to resist it completely and create a super cool look. So I can of course color a cluster of these in, cut them out and create a really awesome card. All right, now let's move into a little bit more of an advanced technique using a stamp. So I have a line of products called Simon Hurley Create and we're going to use this red rubber stamp to create a really awesome fall card with that same resist technique. So let's go in here with these stamps. I like to lay it down on my surface with the rubber design facing upwards and we'll go in to do a little bit of stamping. Now I'm using some archival ink. This is just a jet black ink that's going to be waterproof so that when we're stamping it down, it's going to give us a nice crisp and clean line and not bleed at all. So I'm going to ink this whole thing up. Now if you're a kid doing this, you're gonna to want to grab an adult to make sure that they help you with this part. And I'm going to just ink that whole thing up, grab a piece of cardstock. I'm using a little bit of a heavier weight cardstock, but you could definitely try this out with construction paper and see what kind of results you can get as well. If you're going in with a heavy amount of water though, you might want to move to a heavier weight cardstock. So I'm just going to bring this in and apply pressure all the way around. 
And there we have a really awesome background once we lift it off. And I love these leaves. They are just perfect for fall. So this stamping gives you a really awesome image to color for your card. And it's almost like kind of what we did in that coloring book earlier. And you can stamp it over and over. So then I'm going to go in with a little bit of masking tape. This is a really light tack masking tape. And I'm just going to go in and mask off a section of the card. I'm doing this because I want a stripe of color down the card. But if you want to do the whole thing, you totally can. So I'm going to rip off two pieces and just use this as a template to create a line down our card. And that's the part that's going to be colored in. Now I'm going to press down a little bit extra on either side to make sure that's going to stay down as we add our watercolor in. Now for this resist, I'm going to color over top of all of these images. So you'll see me, I'm just going to go in here pretty quickly. You don't need to take a ton of time to do this and just go in and color over top of all of these images. I'm no longer going in and just doing the little details. And what this is going to do is if I cover the whole thing with wax, it's going to give us a really fun and playful colored background, but the leaves themselves will stay nice and bright white like the cardstock. So that'll create a really cool resist when we're done and you'll really be able to see how this wax crayon makes those colors shine and makes it stay away from the watercolor. The white crayon is a little bit difficult to see so make sure you work in sections and know exactly how much wax and where you put it down onto the image to make sure that everything is completely covered because if you miss an area there will still be color in that area. Now I'm going to bring in my set of watercolors. I'm going to add a little bit of water down onto my surface or you can add it into a bowl and then I'm going to grab a paintbrush that's a little bit thicker from that same paintbrush set and I'll go in here and start my coloring. So you can mix together some different colors. I'm going to go in with kind of some fall tones. So I'm going to go in on the surface and start painting this in. And so this is going to give us a really cool look and you can already tell that the color that is you know going on top of those leaves that we had colored in with the wax is just going to kind of sit on top of that surface and create a really awesome resist. So then I'll go in with a little bit of yellow, mix that in between. And I just love this technique. Instead of going in and coloring all of those little leaves individually, this makes it super easy to create a background that stands out on your card and really makes an impact and then leaves all those other areas completely white. Okay, so once I'm done with that, with the tape that I added down, I'm just going to peel this very carefully. I like to peel the tape back on itself like this and that's going to make sure you don't rip your cardstock. And you can see that that masked off a really nice clean line. But like I said, if you don't have tape or you don't want to add tape down to your cardstock, another thing you could do is just really easy color in the whole thing. And that will give you a really cool, fully colored background. For the sentiment, I'm going to go in with these liquid metal markers. And with these, to get them started, you're going to pull it out of its package. And it's going to start out with a white tip like this. So you're going to go on your cardstock and start pumping that tip and that ink is going to flow down into the marker and once you see it kind of moving down into there it'll fill up with ink and then you can start using your marker. So I'm going to use this gold color and write my sentiment out and I'm going to write you are such a blessing. And I think that's a great sentiment for fall cards. So I'm going to go in here and start writing it. So I'll write blessing first and I'm just going to do this in kind of a cursive font and this is pretty easy to do. You just kind of, you might want to write it out in pencil first if that helps. I like to always go in and kind of thicken up these lines a little bit to make it more substantial. So I'll go into here and thicken all of the areas where the pen would have gone down. I'm going to make that line a little bit thicker and that's going to give you kind of a brush lettered look. And then I'm going to go in and cut right around the sentiment so we can add it onto our card. All right, now let's talk about making our card base to add everything together on. So you can either cut an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock in half like this the long way, or you can cut it in half the other way. And these are both going to give you the same size card in the end, just the fold is going to be in a different area. So let me show you guys how this works. Now I'm using a little bit of a thicker cardstock, but you could definitely try this out using construction paper too, and that will give you a nice result. Now if you're using a thicker cardstock, I like to use a little bit of a scoring tool. I'm going to just score that down and this one gives you a top folding card, which you don't usually see in stores, so I like the kind of handmade aspect of this one. Or you can fold the other one in half 
and this is going to give you kind of the normal card fold. So I'm just going to fold it down, and this one you can either have opening sideways like this, like you would usually see, or you can make it open this way, which is helpful if you have a little bit of a longer design this way. And then I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of double-sided tape onto the back, but you could always use a Crayola glue stick as well. And then, my tip is to start with the top of the card base, so adhere it in that top corner, follow to the other top edge to make sure it's lined up there, and then just kind of let it down and glue it all down. And that's gonna make sure everything is nice and straight on your card. And then I'll do the same thing with the sentiment, add some adhesive or glue stick, and then I will add this right down into the front and center of my card. So I love how this card turned out. Here is a closer look at it. That wax crayon is a really great way to add that watercolor down and get a really cool resist. And then finishing it off with that metallic sentiment as well is a really cool finishing touch. All right guys, I hope you'll give this really fun resist and watercolor technique a try. I cannot wait to see your cards. If you create something and share it on social media, be sure to use the hashtag Crayola Crafts so we can see your amazing work. And if you want any of the Crayola products that you found in today's video, be sure to check out crayola.com slash crafts to check them all out. If you want to see more videos from me, be sure to check out my YouTube channel at Simon Hurley. There's tons more card making videos over there. And I have a full line of card making supplies with stamps and stencils and things that work perfectly along with the Crayola mediums. And you can find those all at rangerinc.com underneath the Simon Hurley Create section. You can also find more inspiration over on Instagram at Inclips, which is I-N-K-L-I-P-S-E, and I share lots of pictures over there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed crafting along with me today. I sure had lots of fun creating this fun resist colorful technique. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.